Hey, everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville. And I am Papa Scoville. And this, and this is Chase, Chase the Heat. Heat. And this is the, is cheese, the cheese that, that binds us. us. Now, look, guys, I want you to see this cheese that you know what I'm doing? Trying to cover me up instead. I always cover my dad up. This is Kirkland. Hold on, hold on a minute. Yes, this is Kirkland. <laughs> I'll, I want Johnny to tell you. I'm just kidding. Kirkland. It's their, uh, It's like the signature brand for Costco. They sell everything. It all started. They brand. have whiskey. They, don't they? Kirkland does everything, right? Yeah, they have. It's up in uh, the headquarters are in uh, Washington State. And there you have it. And they have that. clothing and. Uh, oh, it's... But don't let it fool you. This is a product of Italy. It says so right there. Uh, this is Parmigiano Reggiano Stravecchio. No kidding. Doesn't that sound good? You know, you never saw this. And there way, was no rehearsal. No, but listen to this. Way back the first season that I did the show, you didn't see this, but I got some products from Italy. And I learned how to do the greeting in uh, Italian. Let me have it. I don't remember it. But if you go to the song channel, you can go back and look at it. It was really funny. I said, uh, I can't remember what I said. It was Valerio Alessi is the one who sent me the stuff. And I thanked him for saying to me, I, I, you know, it's pretty funny. You got to see it. I practiced for like a week. <laughs> I did like 20 takes. I couldn't do it live because I would have butchered it. But this, you didn't practice that much when you were in high school doing uh, that band. What was that? I don't remember. The three guys. Uh, who You know who came from it? Sting. The police. There you go. All right. Kirkland signature. This is their Parmigiano Reggiano Stravecchio. He wanted to say that. Again. I did. It sounded good. It's fun to say. You did a good job. It's fun to say. All right, let me read this here. It's a, practically a book and back. Um, Kirkland's signature Parmigiano. I'm going to say it one more. I'm going to skip it because I don't want to say it a third time. <laughs> it's a hard cheese. No kidding. Uh, made today as it was centuries ago using the highest quality milk from the provinces between or located between the Pro, uh, Po River and the Apennine Mountains. Only premium wheels produced from autumn through spring have been selected to be aged for 36 months. Right? I wondered how they came up with the idea that it was different from how one cow is different from another, but it's, it's the time of year, I guess, huh? Yeah. And probably what they feed them, too, you know. Um, this extra aging allows for a more intense, fruity, nutty flavor to develop, as well as a crunchy, grainy texture. Each wet wedge of Kirkland Signature, uh, they want me to say it a fourth time. I won't do it. Go ahead. No. You say it. I can't. Okay, I... Parmigiano uh, Reggiano Stravecchio. It's carved from a wheel that has passed Italy's rigorous um, maturation st uh, standards and can be recognized by the pin dot markings on the rind, which is what they're talking about right there. You can see the pin dot markings. It's kind of cool. You see it right there? Yes, indeed. All right. I'm pretty, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm pumped. I know, it's getting me excited. <laughs> um, I'm not done yet. Uh, Freshly grate, shred, or shave on traditional pasta dishes, salads, and rustic soups. Ooh, it would be great in some soups, huh? Um, really? Enhance your favorite meat and fish dishes with fresh shaves. Chunk and serve with dried fruits and nuts or and a drizzle of aged balsamic vinegar. Use the rind while cooking um, to add a short uh, burst of flavor to stews, stocks, and risotto. Pair with a Chianti <laughs> <laughs> or Chardonnay. A nice uh, I didn't know I was going to say that. That was it. good. He really has got it going today, folks. But that's what I want to talk about, huh? What do you see there, huh? 19 bucks. Look at that right there. That's up. I mean, now, Grant, the weight on this is what? What's the weight? Do you know where it says? Well, the weight? It says right here. 1.58 one one pounds. But that's pretty expensive stuff. Don't try to do the math. No, it's, it's 12.49 a pound. So, anyway, I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm just talking about it. It's got me excited. All right. Uh, that's news to me about using the rind. Yeah, you know what? I, I've never even thought. Here's the problem with me. I don't mind the way the rind is. I'll eat that, too. Me, I'm too, but I'm not sure. Well, this is a little different. The rind on, like, uh, brie. Delicious. Right? Yeah. This is a little different. But for well, we some, know. what do a we... brilliant idea, though. I never would have ever... So if, but what would you do? Throw it out? Why would you do that? It makes great sense. We're going to find out. So what kind of soup would you put Shortly. in? Shortly. Like uh, beef stew, Minestrone. Maybe? Minestrone. Uh, do you like... Uh, the cold soup? You know what? No, I'm not really a fan of cold soup. Sounds like you didn't finish it. Just, just, <laughs> the first time I ever had cold soup, I was a kid. Do you remember this? We went to... Uh, we were in Bermuda. Oh, I know what it was. cold soup. I was just like, 
it just felt like somebody was, was slacking the kitchen. was. Somebody was like dropping the ball in the kitchen. Like, did they know they sent this out like this? But, um, yeah, I'm ready for this. Let's give this a, a go. It's better protected than the president. Yeah. Hey, but you're all, you know, you're getting a knack for that. I'm a great partner. Well, you know, the funny thing is whether this cheese is a blue cheese that's aged or a gorgonzola oh, or a yeah. cheddar or this, they're, they're, they all have a different aroma, but that age is there. You can't hide that. Holy mackerel. You remember when we talked about the little... Yeah, somebody meant... Somebody, hey, look. Somebody emailed what the... Uh, commented, I forgot. About what those crystals are. And they, they had a, like a real... They, they actually knew what they were talking about. But check this out. You know, we wrote to... Uh, look at that. Look at the... That is just so cool. We had some once in, if you'll excuse the expression, cabbage cheese. And we thought maybe it was something wrong with it. So we wrote to Milena. They wrote back saying, no, it's quite normal. And they sent a few nice trinkets. Look at this. You aren't going to eat that, Ryan. No, and, but you know, this goes all the way around. Maybe we'll have a little taste. I'm very, very eager to try this. Now, let's talk about the aroma just a moment here. Tell me what you're getting in the aroma. Do you get a nutty thing going on here? Yeah, no question. I do. Sort of a nutty kind of... Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I'm picking up fruity, like they said. But nutty for sure. But really, just it has a bite. The aroma is biting. And that's a good term. Did they say that in there? No, but it really is. It's Anyway, boy, this smells so good. I'll tell be, you what it was, but you know it's Italian, and you can get it at Kirkland. It's a good day for the Scovilles. Here we go, guys. I'm Johnny. It's my dad. Here we go. Oh, the crystals all over the place. Don't let any of these loose pieces get away. Oh! Wow. You know who's going to like this? Yeah, Mama Scovilles going to love this. Mm. Boy, you know the crystals? You, I'm getting them all over the place. Mm -hmm. That's something that is common in aged cheese. You don't get that in that cheese unless it's aged. Oh my wow. goodness. You know what? We'll try the rind. Try that. This, you're going to realize why you can't eat this. Did you try it? It tastes like leather. But it's tasty leather. leather, yeah, tasty leather. Um, I'm gonna have just a little bit more. And then um, we're gonna put it in the safe. Yeah, here's the deal. Um, I'm not getting the fruity thing, as I mentioned on the label, but I certainly get the, the nutty. You get, you get the nutty and the aroma. You get that, you guys? You smell that? Whoops, sorry. Mm. Smell that? Oh, that's a good picture. That tastes nice. This is great cheese. Now, somebody emailed me the other day when we did the cheese, that six-year-old uh, cheddar from the other company, Tillamook. Somebody mentioned, uh, commented from Wisconsin, said that there's a place there that has a 25-year-old cheese. You know what the price of that is? Expensive. Here's the thing. I feel guilty eating it. Better not for 25 years. It's like when they catch a lobster in the ocean and it's this big. You don't, want to eat. You don't let that thing go. I mean... Once it's gone that long... I have, I have a, a Papa Scoville story. Oh, I love Papa Scoville stories. Years ago, when I was in the workforce, we would uh, lived in the East Coast. Occasionally, we'd go out to California to talk to certain companies. And one of the trips, we came to Lake Tahoe after the business to sort of take a day to a walk. And, um, <laughs> and one of the trips... There was this, um, and, and believe it or not, I think it's still there, a restaurant. And they advertised seafood and uh, adult beverages. So when we went in, there was a water tank in the lobby like this. And there was a lobster in there that was over 10 pounds. Wow. And it had a name. He wasn't for sale. <laughs> Probably had a social security number in a bank account. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, I could just the claws would have been this big. There are stories like that pretty frequently in the, like, I've seen a couple where they, uh, apparently, like, 
blue lobsters or orange lobsters are like one in a million. They'll catch those and they'll save them. And eat them. Well, you know, what, what, now you bring it up, that uh, program about the terrible uh, conditions that people go crabbing in, you know, professionals. Oh, yeah. Uh, deadly, deadliest <laughs> catch. <clears throat> Not the cheese that's doing that, but I saw them doing king crab. Oh, yeah. And those babies, it took two hands to hold it up. You know, they're probably sick of seafood. It's like the what? last thing they want is like a, all they want is like a burger. <laughs> Imagine, like what's for dinner? A crab? Ugh. Not that again. You know what? I remember hearing a long time ago of um, you can Google this. It's an actual real story. Um, lots and lots of years ago in Maine, there was a uh, prison, and they were feeding. Google it. They were feeding the prisoners lobster, three meals a day because it, they, it was readily available. So you're not making this up? This no, no. You can Google it. I wouldn't, yeah. So they they like. Petition and we're like, I don't know if they want a hunger strike. They all complain like for a long, long time. Finally, like, okay, we'll stop feeding the lobster. Now, like, the only way you get lobster in a jail now is if it's your last meal there. I think <laughs> murder will get you. But that's a true. You can Google it. It's true. Um, one, oh, this is delicious though, man. I love this. Oh, one more, a little slice. Don't you think one more is due? Is deserving. This is the cross section where the knife cut. You can. Oh, almost... that's a good picture. That's a, that's. They're licking their lips right now. Gosh, I am. Now, I wish you could have been with me to that cheese shop up with Clint Meyer in New Zealand. I mean, I said that one looks cool. What is it? She pull it down and pull off a slice and hand it to you. Every single, I must have eaten a pound of cheese in that place. <laughs> it was great. And, and, and you nothing else? Nothing, nothing. No, there was cheese, there was wine, um, there was, um, you know, like tr trinkets and things like that for tourists and stuff. But mostly it was a wine and cheese place. You know, things to pull the wine. Right, but the, the, the cheese was just, I bought, I bought a block, it was called B.O., Best Old. But let me tell you, this shop owner was so knowledgeable, she knew who the makers were, um, you know what I mean? It's not. Like, it's different. And what regions? Things Absolutely. And, and this this particular maker, his name was Meyer, also, not related to Clint, but his name was Meyer also, and he had actually won awards for New Zealand. It's pretty cool. And, you know, when you you don't think of New Zealand as a cheese, but they're cheese lovers. Boy, they they you know what? Having been there, they love their cheese in New Zealand a lot. They yes, really, they really do. When we were first married. Excuse me. Well, I might eat some more cheese while you talk. Mom is cool, and I joined a club where you get sent their new cheeses once a month. And uh, wow, we had some cheeses we they were good. Some were, this would have been a good program for them because we could have mm. given them an honest. Uh, you know what? I'm certain um, there are sauce of the month cl month clubs. I'm certain there are still um, cheese and month clubs. I just gotta know where to go to find them. Well, they're all wine, so why wouldn't they be? Man, this is so good. I'm not having any more. You ate seven dollars, but. All right. I'm expecting some uh, peppers in the mail today. If they arrive, I'll be eating them tonight uh, in preparation for this big uh, face melting contest in South Carolina. I'm going to be making another video. This is really cool. I'm doing a meet and greet at 183 Main Street on the 3rd, Saturday the 3rd, before the contest. But we're doing two additional meet and greets um, apart from the filming where all the chili heads and all, all the, everybody, anybody within driving distance that's a chili head is going to be coming out. I'll be with David Foy from Blazing Foods. We're going to have, um, ten, we're going to do a death nut challenge. Not a tube of terror. You don't need to worry. Just a death nut. And they're going to be, we're 10 people. I'm going to be the MC. 10 people are going to be allowed to mm. enter. No cost to enter. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So that, I'll, I'll be, you'll be getting more information about that, um, hopefully by day's end. Aren't you um, in, in the process of coming up with a, um, a nut that's going to be covered that's not regular peanut or another? Uh... Uh, we're doing a uh, corn nut version of the tube of terror, absolutely. Because some people, a lot of people that are, uh, want to do the tube of terror, but they can't because they have a peanut allergy. allergy. Yeah. And there are peanuts in those. So we're coming up with a tube of terror uh, corn nut version. You know what? I wanted to have, David and I collectively wanted to have this out already. 
but you know we're launching the sauce company and there's a whole lot more and don't you know you don't just kind of hang a shingle and say hey i'm selling sauce there's a lot to it um you gotta make it gotta permits it. for different countries and stuff so there's a lot of uh, red tape that we're going through but we'll have that soon so the two the corn nut version is coming not only that today i think but i, I almost forgot today I, I think i'm getting in the mail the chili cherry nightmare from willie pete's the white chocolate version that we're uh, known as the white mare that's what everybody's calling it since it's a white chocolate nightmare so that should be um, getting here today. If it is, I'll probably do a challenge, do that challenge before I leave. No, I don't think I'll have time to. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But anyway, lots of cool stuff coming uh, around. Go to the description box. See a link for uh, Kirkland. Go to Costco. If you've tried this, this is a great cheese. Let me know what you think of it. Don't you want to know? Oh, boy. I like it a lot. I'd like, yeah, I'd like to hear from the folks. we got some pretty intelligent followers. The best. Knowledgeable as can be. Like the people that phoned in from uh, the Netherlands afterwards. Right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um, same thing happened when we did the... Uh, it was a cheddar. No, there was a uh, blue cheese we did from somewhere. Oh, no, the, we did the Gouda and the other one was... Uh, I don't remember. A bug, a bug just crawled. That's a ladybug, though, and ladybugs are awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. No, you know what's cool about ladybugs? <laughs> They're the cutest little thing, right? If you're an aphid and you see a ladybug, that ladybug is a mindless eating machine. There's the scariest creature. Google that. See what it, you know, let me tell you something. This is neat. I know uh, growers who have uh, got peppers like in a uh, outside, raided by millions. Uh, but here's the thing not just uh, inside in a greenhouse, but I know growers that do this outside. If they have an aphid problem, if you have one, it's like a cockroach, you got 10 million of them, they'll buy like 5,000 ladybugs online. Mm -hmm. And they show up live in a bag. And you go out in the middle of your garden, you let them loose. And they don't go anywhere because there's tons of food there. They only leave when the food's gone. <laughs> no, serious. So they, you don't need to worry about... You know, people say, well, what are you going to do? They fly away. Well, sort of like relatives. They don't leave till the food's gone. But um, <laughs> in greenhouses, it's great because they're stuck inside. But they are. Listen, you want to talk about it? Really, no the most amazing way to get rid of uh, aphids. Because they seem so sweet. Funny, yeah, they do. They crawl over your hand. That's because we're they're this big. If, the, if ladybugs stay. were the size of trees, we'd be in trouble. You know, a scary creature. Seriously, thank <laughs> God we live in the day we do. You know, what would be horrific if it was big. You can say almost about any creature, right? But I'm telling you, if praying mantises, like a praying mantis, if those things were like six feet long, they'd be eating people. I've seen the praying mantis is a formidable. <laughs> Predator, man. The, well, they have these great pinchers, and the worst thing is they don't like kill you and like eat you later. They look right at you while they're gnawing your head. It's just the most ridiculous thing in the whole world. It's scary. So, we all go to bed. We thank God that there are no huge, gigantic praying menace like oh, that's, yeah, prehistoric yeah. days. That would make a great movie. Can you imagine? I'm sure, they probably done it. The Walking Praying Mantis? Yeah, the, yeah, some, some. Some malfunction goes around in the lab and they actually create this massive giant mantis. Anyhow, we've, gone, we've gone too long. Right between my dad and I is our pepper. Click that thing, okay? When you do your part of our family, we're part of yours. If you don't miss a video, don't. Click the bell for notification, we'll notify you. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'm Johnny Scoville. And I'm Papa Scoville. And this was Chase Lee.